Welcome back to another battle, everybody. I am Simon I am a Grandmaster Level Risk Global Domination Player. Today we are playing Progressive Capitals on Spaceport Sigma. One of the largest maps in the game. We're here to have some fun, have a good time. We're playing as the green player out of the fourth position. Got a lot of material in the middle of the board here. White did not take the launch pad here. Which is intriguing to potentially go for Spaceport Sigma's version of the noob corner. Which is um, this bonus up here. Mare Nubium Station. Uh, I do like this cap here. Any pathing to come underneath has to come up through here. Uh, but it's not super open to the middle. This one's kind of the same way to the left. Black goes after me. I think Black's going to cap there. Uh, that's actually... Oh, okay. This cap here... This cap here would be a one-point hold, but I think Black still caps there. So, I will afford Black the one-point hold for everything back here because I have to imagine somebody caps in the middle. I like this two here. I could go on this one to better hold the one-point hold slightly further out, but I'm going to go here. And we'll try to take this bonus. We've got pink back here to play for the two-point hold over the back there. Black does not take the one-point hold. Black must have had a launch pad option then. I don't know why you would cap, why you wouldn't. Even if you have a launch pad option, I still think this cap is better long-term. But maybe he knows of some stuff happening behind him and he doesn't want to get in any trouble. Um, and you know who else isn't getting into trouble? New subscribers of the channel. We've got Dustin Redderer. Awesomeness Personified, Vault of Xanelect, Mr. Dizzy One, and That Koba Guy. Thank you guys for subscribing. Greatly appreciate it. If you want to get a shout out in an upcoming video, video all you got to do is subscribe. Make sure you have public subscriptions on. I'll give you the shout out that you so deserve. Um, I believe this is a five for now. And I think I dumped my seven troops that I hopefully get. Unless red rolls me in two spots. Uh, the seven troops that I hopefully get, I think we drop here and we see if we can take this whole bonus. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six... Probably got to hit through a two at some point, unfortunately. There's really only ever ones and twos. A couple times you'll get a three on this board uh, with your starting position. But I could come off the cap to do it, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do it like this, and hopefully we get good enough dice here to not lose too many troops. 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 Tr troops. On our journey, we're going to hit pink here because it's a two, and we might get better dice on a two if we roll it like that. We do. Can I get the turn one bonus? I have not... Well, hang on. Don't want to jinx myself. Red is right there. I've not lost a troop yet. We do get the turn one bonus. And we still got a six cap up here. And I start with a joker. This is a very bad capital for red. I don't know what this plays for. Uh, but it does help us, if we end up getting it, hold pretty effectively there. Pink player might be trying to clear out his pocket back here. We just took a lot of territory. Tries to blitz me with a two-on-one. You got to slow roll two-on-ones, pink players. For those of you who are not uh, very experienced at the game of Risk yet, I implore you that if you are going to roll a two-on-one, Black is botted. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Did Black lose his capital turn one? He did. He got rolled. Should have capped on the three here, Black. You would have been safe here. I wasn't going to roll you. Instead, the Black player uh, gets his cap rolled, presumably by... He actually might have been rolled by pink. White also got cap rolled, but did not bot. Red has a ton of troops on cap, so I don't think red was the cap roller. I think pink must have cap rolled one of them, and black and orange cap rolled the other, because white is down to four. Um, interesting start. We'll see what red does to me. Uh, if he breaks me, I'll play for a different spot, I guess. Um, I will play for vision, and I think the best way to win this this map is. Uh, is to play for territories, and unfortunately, I think Orange is going to end up being our player to play for territories, because I think we're going to experience white botting out here. Uh, yeah, so our settings, we've got auto setup, 66 and turn timer, progressive cards, balance, plus dice, no rank restrictions, alliances, and portals uh, are off, fog and blizzards are on. We've got automated inactivity behavior today, too, so we've got authentic bots that should help snuff the purple player out of this back spot here, maybe cause some trouble for red as well. I don't know. Um... Red concerns me in and of himself. Purple's upset that white has botted. And I'm upset that white has botted too because I don't want to have to deal with that material there. Orange has nine troops. 
So territory count in two caps is going to be my guess on that one. 15 territories or more. Uh, very, very interesting start to this one. And he's going to take this pocket here. Not surprised by that whatsoever. Goes up. Interesting. Goes up. Just takes a singular card there. I think he's probably got that launch pad. Oh, maybe Red did roll a cap. I don't know how he got eight. I think he probably more likely has territory, right? No, I mean, the fact that we're seeing five troops go elsewhere. Interesting. I think Red rolled a cap. Huh. That's very surprising. Does he not break me? If he doesn't break me, where is my best place? He doesn't break me. We get to hold our bonus. We get to hold our bonus. I'm gonna knock White out of here. Oh, we've got orange there. Interesting. We'll keep that in mind. I don't trust orange. Uh, do I trust that orange isn't going to break me? No. I don't trust that orange is going to break me, and I don't think he's going to be able to take my capital. So we're going to block him over there, because that's where I want my next card to be. I think red will probably break me. Pink takes back here. That's foolish. Um, pink is getting seven. So I haven't exactly identified who has the two caps. I think pink likely has the other cap. Uh, the I don't know who's whose, but we'll see. I would have loved to have rolled this orange cap, but unfortunately, we have white bot place in here. Um, and I kind of, I got lost four on that. If I didn't lose four, if I lost like one, for example, I think I would have tried to play for this. Um, this would have been a great spot to be. So white out of the first position, especially if this was what he ended up choosing, didn't take the launch pad. I don't know that we had anybody take a launch pad in this one. I imagine there's one on the left-hand side. I think orange must have taken one on the left-hand side, but red didn't take one. We saw pink up here. I'm here. I didn't have an option for one, so... Uh, very bizarre start to this game. I hope this bot goes to the right. It does go to the right. Okay, delightful. Probably going to hit me. We'll lose an extra troop. No, it goes down. Okay. <clears throat> We're on 20 territories. I don't expect that to last. We're back to orange. Red is my biggest concern. Orange has lost some territory. I'm just going to hit here and dip out. It's going to be my main goal. Yeah, not surprised by this play. Knock Pink out of here. He might even stop. Yeah, I didn't. He's not going to roll a five onto it. Orange is a good player. Red's my concern. Red probably saw my plus 13 on the first turn. Plus 14, actually. I could very well see Red breaking me. Or, alternatively, I saw Red taking troops on the left hand side here. Um, I think he's playing for this bonus. Maybe the slow play for it. But he's going to end up running into Orange. Orange does not defend this capital at all. So we take this on the next turn. We take it, we knock him out of here, and we fortify up to this spot. Especially, I believe... Well, I get an extra troop here. If red bots, that's bad for me. That will be bad for my bonus holding. Pink is not happy about these people botting, by the way. We'll have three bots if red quits here. I don't really know why red would quit. Uh, this is by no means a snowball, but it will cause trouble for the pink player, I think. Red is gone. All right, the three bot, three human game. I get 14. We roll orange's cap here. We get incredible dice. I'm just going to leave that as a 10. We'll defend this. Um, I got... Just insane dice on that capital just now. Uh, really pretty absurd. And Because I, I don't want orange... Like, now I have complete control of the middle. Because if anybody wants to pass through the middle, they've got to pass my, one of my caps now. Guaranteed. I can clear this bonus. I, I think the red bot's likely just going to break me on this next turn, which we'll deal with. Uh, not super concerned about that. And actually... 
I think there's going to be a pretty decent avenue to taking a third cap on this next turn. Um, just because of the positioning. Because if Redbot attacks off the cap, it won't. It'll have a territory behind itself. I know it won't be defending. I'll be able to see how many troops come out this way. And then I'll be able to bop, bop, and take it. I don't know how strong Pink's cap is on the other side of this, but I think that's okay. Uh, Orange is not quit, but Orange has got to start working. You know, he, he doesn't have a bonus. He's got to start working for the other side of the board, which I think his other cap is stronger. He wasn't adding to this. I think this is either the one he... Actually, now that I think about it, he must have taken the other one, which is a far more important capital. And he doesn't have path real a real good path for retaliation, but he is going to get this bonus, and if he's got a launch pad cap here... Uh, it's only a matter of time before he becomes pretty threatening. Redbot um, hopefully doesn't add much to this capital. I would love it if it added behind orange. Um, oh, is it going to go for a bonus in here? This is this is bad. This is about as bad as this could be in terms of potentially losing this cap. Um. If I somehow, fingers crossed, I don't get broken, it rolls here. I usually got a limited number of attacks. Rolls here. No, rolls elsewhere. Oh my god, we don't get broken. How did I not get broken? I will cherish this moment forever, everybody. I will absolutely, positively... cherish this moment forever gonna roll a two on one look 37 percent. i believe it's 43 if you slow roll it we don't win it uh just trying to knock off some of of orange's extra territories um i'm gonna defend like this so that i don't get broken and this way we fuel our added defense of the red cap on the right hand side uh when, when it even inevitably breaks me pink sets early I think that's an abysmal play by the pink player. Um, about as bad of a play as you can get being in the fifth position, setting it early in a game with three bots. There's a very, very good chance that at least two of these bots set on four prior to your trade-in on five. Um, and pink sets in early to try to take a bunch of material, potentially even this bonus back here, which there's no way he'll have three caps to, you know, red will be able to sneak in here somewhere. Black bot getting 11. Black bot getting 11. So pink took somewhere else is what that tells me. And black bot has this behind pink's cap here. That is crazy. We're in actually pretty good snowball position here. And this is good because now red bot, if it is a bonus taker, like I think it might be. This might signify that the red bot will actually attack in rather than out. Uh, but he's getting 11. This is a plus 6. I, I think 15 territory. We got, we see a lot of black, so that's pretty likely. White sets now. Uh, likely going to attack into the middle here. Actually open up my 13 to potentially take this entire bonus on the right-hand side. The snowball opportunity is here, and if somehow Orange lost this bonus or didn't have it somehow... That actually could spell very, very good for me. This likely rolls once more, which will open up my 13 to an entire take of that bonus if I can get it. Uh, and if somehow red doesn't break me, yeah, okay, orange does have this. So I got to be a little wary of orange. He likely takes this pocket behind himself. No, he's in over here. He's going to backdoor me. No, he goes into black bot. Okay. Maybe, maybe we can ignore orange then. I don't know why you'd go into black bot, but I'm not upset about it. Red bot, meanwhile. Where are these five troops going down? I can likely get the, this. My focus will be this cap. If it goes four here, it goes one troop elsewhere. Breaks me or goes, yeah, breaks me. That's like got three or four there right now. All right, this cap is undefended. And it's going to stay undefended. It actually leaves the 10 there. Um, okay. 
Take that for free. And bring this over here. I don't want Redbot to roll the cap. Pink is getting eight. So Pink, I think, took over in here in Expedition Command behind Orange, which I don't really understand. Um, but now, Orange has a much harder time breaking me because he's either got to hit through white up here, he's got to hit through black over here, or he's got to hit through red here. Which actually might feed the red kill. We'll see how many troops red places here if red for some reason doesn't hit. I think we're going to get broken by black. No, we don't get broken by black either. Um, I don't think Orange got all of this, but he got a lot of it, that's for sure. Because it knocked Black down to below 12 territories. I say it. He did. It's a player. Players in our game, by the way. White player, Katoski, uh, they bought it out. They are gone from our game. U.S. player, uh, Alec the Old from the U.S. Orange. The red player, Journey Thang, U.S. Red, uh, bought it out. I'm U.S. Green. <laughs> the uh, TJ Acosta, Pink. That's going to break me from Costa Rica. Uh, and then finally, the black player bought it out as well. General General Blintz from Canada. Uh, I get why black and white bought it. I'm not sure why red did. I thought he had decent positioning. Orange getting 14 now. Um, maybe he kills red? I'm a bit concerned about orange. Black's on five cards. Does he take this whole bonus here? He hit pink back here. Or he either hit pink back there or open pink's cap. Um, worst case, I fail the black kill. If this if this doesn't set and puts all three troops here, we kill it. It does set. It got the ten trade. It doesn't. It didn't even put all of its troops here. So, uh, I think we try to kill black. That might have just rolled pink's cap. Lost seven on the roll. That might have just rolled Pink's cap. I think it did. That fortify tells me it likely rolled Pink's cap. Uh, we don't have to use the Joker. The 12 trade. We might be able to kill Black here as well. I'm going to put a couple troops in here just in case. It's, it's very possible that Orange tried to eliminate him. Got that out of there. Just gonna do that as well. Um, so black sets back here. That's fine. Maybe pink gets the kill if he didn't lose his cap, but I think he lost his cap. I don't know, maybe not. I might have fed the kill to, to pink. Nope, it's just gonna set behind him. Which might end up removing, um, well, we'll see. If it gets a card, it's probably kill guarded. Or if it doesn't get a card, it's probably kill guarded. If it does get a card, it's probably back here and maybe removes all of orange. I should have the white kill pretty easily in here. I have the joker if I need it. Um, the red kill shouldn't be that hard either if it is only over here. We'll see what kind of aggression orange does. I think black has to have taken a card. Yeah, black took a card back here. Uh, pink's behind orange here. Which has been causing problems for orange. I mean, we just got 20-something 20, 20 troops. Like, I, my my worst case scenario was I didn't think pink, pink would kill black. Um, so what that ends up meaning for me is that the... Uh, this isn't good. That might break me. That's fine. I, I anticipate orange breaking me. I'd rather it break me there than get me up here. Um, orange gets 12. Yep. See, he was going to break me anyway. Oh, he quit. Orange quit. So it's just me versus pink. All right. I mean, we, we snowballed. We took the two middle caps here. Um, we snowballed. And now Operation Give Pink second place for not quitting is a go. 
Um, white was one of the first ones to bot. Black was second. Red was third. Um, that fortifies out this way. I don't really know how. I guess if I kill white without trading. If I can, I think I can kill white. If I can kill white without trading, I can kill orange without trading. Although I don't know that that's who I would want to kill. I'd rather kill black back here. You know, take him out in order. But I don't want orange to set. So I want to do as much of this as I can in one turn. Um, I can probably get... So I'll trade in off of white. Right? So let's go... Like that. Then we get black or red in the back there. All right. I think this should work. Oh, we can't kill white. Because I just failed a three on one. <laughs> All right. Pink sets. He'll have to hit through orange's 19 here. Hopefully, black and red and white all don't set on three. <laughs> that was a little bit embarrassing, admittedly. Orange has a lot of this now, so the, the downside is that pink is likely going to have a kill guard here. Um, maybe he kills black. But I think he's probably hitting orange on the left-hand side. I don't think he cared about his original cap spot. I think he cares much more about the left-hand side. The set on three is actually very good for him. But this gives me a better trade to eliminate the other players and make sure pink gets second. We're trying to be diplomatic here uh, because I don't really anticipate losing this game. I'll, I'll, pink would have needed to chain all of those kills together basically right there. Uh, Black does have this bonus back here. Hopefully it does not trade. Hopefully white does not trade. And hopefully red does not trade, and orange probably will trade, but pink didn't kill orange, so that helps me at least a little bit. Um, yeah, black bot comes out of here, so red's only in here, I think. That won't break me. Okay, um, black bot on four, red bot on three, white bot on three. Don't, I swear to God, if this bot sets on three, I'm going to cry. But I also, yeah, so I isolated this territory here specifically so that the orange bot got the sniff of being able to kill white that it wouldn't actually be able to. And white bot does not set. Delightful. This probably breaks me, though. Gotta hope for a little bit of a fail. Got fewer troops otherwise. We don't get the luck of the fail. But we likely get an extra card out of that, so I think that's okay. Imagine orange bot sets here. It gets uh, it's 28 total troops. Um, so I sh should be able to kill the entire right side of the board. And I'm going to try to do... I want to try to give placement in order of bot out. I think that's the fairest way. Because admittedly... And I'm sorry the video is going to take a little bit longer. Admittedly, that's how the game should be designed. Where when it, it should place you based off of where your bot quits. Uh, it kind of drives me insane that that's not the case. But it's alright. Um... Fingers crossed, no set for red. If red doesn't get a set here, uh, we'll be good. We'll have the ability to award accordingly. I just hope to God. Red's getting five? How is red getting five? Red has the pink cap. That's what that tells me. Red has the pink cap right here. All right, it doesn't set. Um, yeah, so pink did lose that. I thought he might have. He must have just had territory count on the left-hand side. Uh, all right, we go, we go white, we go black, we go red, and then orange, if possible. Uh, I don't need to set in, right, to kill white. I'm just going to go extra cautious over here because I don't want to fumble the bag. I think it was just red back there. Right, there's that one. 
I'm going to stack up a little bit on... Does it double trade me? It does double trade me. I don't have to use the Joker in either instance. Um, 24, sure. Rest back here. So we're knocking Red out of that spot. I'm just going to finish on Red here on the capital to make sure that Red gets the slightly better placement. There's a kill on Black. I might be able to chain every kill in one turn here if I'm lucky. Um, unless I accidentally cap run. Another trade in. Uh... Oh, I accidentally killed orange before red. That's awkward. Is this is a cap run. I got everybody in one turn though. That was kind of fun. I I accidentally messed up the order. I did not think pink removed all of orange there. Um, good game to the purple player though. He des or pink player. Sorry, he deserved la uh, for second. Good game. And okay, so this must have been the cap that he took. Um, that would explain how he was getting five because he must have had red material still behind him, but was still holding this cap. So pink was the player that took the, the black cap. I think black was capped here. We had orange in the middle. I think white had this. No, you know what? I think orange had this white had this over here on this launch pad. Um, I think orange took it. Oh, you know what I think happened? Here's my theory. White had this cap. Black had the one next to it. Orange was up here. White tried to turn one roll black. Got bad dice or something. He lost his original cap to orange. Pink took black's original cap. I believe... I believe that is the correct theory here. Uh, and then obviously red's cap chilled. My cap chilled. And uh, Pink eventually lost his original cap because he was busy investing on the left-hand side on a cap that was better for him. Players in our game, expert level on both black and uh, and pink, but I get black not wanting to play. We had white as a master. Sometimes those masters play aggressive. I, that would explain why I was in the launch pad. Best spot to be, and then intermediate on orange beginner on red. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, you know what to do. As always, everybody, I've been Seamoney. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a tremendous rest of your day. Peace.